Hey guys, and welcome back to a new vlog and to the first Vlogmas of 2021. I am so excited. As you can see behind me, the Christmas tree is decorated. So in this vlog, you will get to see me decorate for Christmas and get everything ready for Christmas. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Don't miss out on all the holiday fun. I also have a giveaway up, which I will put up in the corner right here. So you can click in and join that giveaway. It is a huge giveaway for the holidays. The winner will be announced on January 1st. So you still have a bunch of time to get your entries in. And without further ado, let's get this vlog started.
finished decorating pretty much the whole like entryway kitchen and all of that so all of my gingerbread decor is from my local garden center the Santa is new if you watched my last vlog you have already seen the Santa and here I also have a countdown for Christmas so today is only 14 days left I have another nutcracker right here so moving over to this corner right here, I have more of my gingerbread cookies. So we have these small houses right here, which I really love. You can also hang these up on your tree if that is something you want. I have a big house. I really want to get more of these houses this year because I only have this small one in this. So I am waiting for the 30% and 50% off sale. So hopefully they have some left. We have another nutcracker. This tree is new this year and I just love it. I think it is so cute. So these I think I got from a local store. So pretty much all my things are from local garden centers and all of that. So I decided to have these trees on my table. So in the center right here, this is from Ikea. I got it last year, I think. So I'm not sure if they have it, but I'm sure you can find a similar like mirror tray. I also have these cute gift candles which I love to display and also this tree right here. So I will not like lit these just because I love them as decor. I didn't want to add plates and stuff just because we eat here every single day. And then we're moving over to my favorite part which is the grand Christmas tree. The main tree, I really really love it. I think it turned out so well this year. And I have a bunch of cute ornaments on. Like these are my favorite by far. So these are from Riviera. So I'm sure you can get your hands on these. I really love these ones as well. I now have six of these and I really love them. So I think next year I will get another tree as well. Which I will have all my pink ornaments on. And these are also new by the way. So I picked up these huge pink ornaments as well. I'm definitely going back to buy more of these. I actually added a twinkle light inside but it looks so good when it's nighttime and you just see all the twinkles coming from inside a tree. I am so obsessed with my tree this year. I think it came out so grand, so beautiful 
And down here I decided to have two Santas. So we have a little Santa boy and also a little girl. So moving over to this console table, here I have some more nutcrackers. These actually lit up at night, so it looks so cute. Two on this side right here. Up here on the table I have my favorite nutcracker, which is this pink one. It looks so beautiful. I also have a new one that I got this year, which you probably saw in my last vlog. And then I have this Let It Snow. This is actually a tree ornament from Riviera, but I decided to have it displayed there because it can break. Then we have a beautiful Santa. We have another Nutcracker, which is also one of my fave because it's pink, it's gold with glitter. I also have this gold tree right here. And then I also have these two displayed. I really love this guy right here. It is so cute with the silver and a little bit of gold and this one as well is also one of my favorites that my sister got me for Christmas last year and I love it. So moving over to the table, I didn't add a lot of decor as you probably saw when I decorated, but I added these branches that are from Ikea and I decided to put some ornaments on them. And on the side right here, I added two of these white trees and also a little flock one. And I think it looks so good. So down here, I just added a little Santa as well. So up here on the wine cabinet, I didn't actually vlog this part just because I did this late at night and there was no lighting. So here I just decided to add some of the gold trees. I also have two of these ones. The Buddha is pretty much always here, so this is pretty much just what I keep. So here I have one of the mini trees that I have on my coffee table. We have another gold tree, and we have this little guy, and also these cute candle holders with some candles in. So in the hallway, I didn't vlog this either, just because I did this pretty late at night, and the lighting is terrible. It gets dark around 4 right here. So these are here all year round, so I just decided to keep them there. And I added these three little Santas, which I really love. So this is from Ikea, and I got these last year, I think, for the winter. So you can actually have lights in them, but I decided to have the car keys and all of that. I also have two candle holders from Ikea. So the first thing you see when you come in is actually this candy cane team tree that I also had last year. So this one is new, really love that one. Then... All of the other ornaments are pretty much from last year and I'm very happy with how the ribbon and everything came out this year so I added this one that I used on the table last year on the tree and I also added a lot more ornaments so this is how the tree came out as a topper since we didn't have a star I just added a bunch of candy canes Promise and to storm in the village. 